Profile Overview The Foundation is not the only group with an interest and investment in the paranormal and metaphysical. There are many other groups in existence who possess, use, or attempt to create SCP objects, either for their own personal gain or for the protection of mankind. Some are rival organizations, some are splinter groups of the Foundation, and some are trusted associates of the Foundation. In any case, it has been deemed necessary to create and distribute a brief on what agencies the Foundation knows about and our stance towards them. The Chaos Insurgency Overview The Chaos Insurgency is a splinter group of the Foundation created by a rogue cell that went AWOL with several SCP objects in 1924. Since then, the Insurgency has become a major player on the world stage, using the anomalies that it obtains for its own benefit and to consolidate its global power base. The Insurgency not only deals in anomalies, but also in weapons running and intelligence gathering. It makes use of authoritarian regimes in poor and developing countries, often using their populations in the same manner the Foundation does D-class personnel. It helps to maintain the extreme poverty and war that is suffered by these countries so that it can continue its radical experimentation, easy conscription of forces, and lucrative business deals with various opposing forces. Most of the anomalous objects possessed by the insurgency are unknown. Among the most notable items are the Staff of Hermes, an item capable of warping the physical and chemical properties of any matter it touches, and the Bell of Entropy, an object that can cause a variety of destructive effects depending on where it is struck. Both of these objects were originally obtained at no small cost by the Foundation and were stolen by the original founders of the Insurgency. The SCP objects and other anomalies stolen from the Foundation typically possess high potential for direct utility, but the Insurgency has also made use of anomalies with less direct applications, such as SCP-884. The main base of operations of the Insurgency is unknown, as are its current leaders. This organization is directly antagonistic to the Foundation, using deadly force to attempt to prevent Foundation containment of multiple anomalies. The Foundation has also been infiltrated by agents of the Insurgency in the past, resulting in the loss of valuable scientific data, theft of a number of anomalies, and deaths of personnel. Personnel are made to be aware of possible raids, terrorist action, and spies from the Insurgency, and are to notify their superiors about any activities from fellow personnel fitting the Insurgency behavioral profile. The Chicago Spirit Overview During the early 20th century, the Chicago Spirit was the largest anomalous criminal organization in the Western Hemisphere. Based in Chicago, Illinois, the group's influence extended to most major cities in the United States, particularly New York, Boston, New Orleans, and the extra-dimensional city-state of Three Portlands. The Spirit was known for recruiting individuals with anomalous capabilities, as well as creating and exploiting anomalous artifacts for use in its criminal activities. The Spirit was founded in 1895 by Chicago resident and bar owner Richard E. Chapel, who was himself an anomalous individual. Despite years of efforts, the Foundation remained largely unsuccessful in its attempts to suppress Chappelle's rise to power, due in part to its limited resources at the time, as a result of an ongoing internal crisis. In January of 1919, the Foundation officially suspended all opposition against the Chicago Spirit to ensure the cooperation in preventing the spread of SCP-2680. Once allowed to operate unimpeded, the Spirit flourished into a nationwide syndicate and eventually became a driving force in the illegal distribution of alcohol during the Prohibition era. Thanks to the success of its bootlegging businesses, the Chicago Spirit continued to amass power over North American markets and politics throughout the 1920s, and the Foundation was eventually forced to terminate its truce with the group in order to prevent the complete dissolution of scientific normalcy. On July 11, 1933, Richard Chappell was finally apprehended by Foundation operatives following a raid on the Spirit's base of operations. In the absence of its leader, the group gradually destabilized, and most of its members and assets were acquired by other organizations. As of 1938, the Foundation officially considers the Chicago Spirit to be defunct. However, rumors of the Spirit's continued survival have persisted in subsequent decades. Various artifacts have been discovered which imply the group's involvement, though a conclusive link has yet to be proven. Furthermore, recent evidence has revealed the emergence of a new syndicate, calling itself the Chicago Spectre, 
which seems to operate primarily in anomalous underground communities. Investigation into this group and its connections to the original spirit, if any, are ongoing. The Church of the Broken God Overview Shortly after the discovery and containment of SCP-882, several members of this church came forward and demanded the return of the Heart of God. Led by one Robert Bamaro, they are a group of zealots, believing many of the SCP items to be part of a god that was broken after the creation of the universe. By restoring it to its whole state, they will also gain godhood. Since first contact, three other key components of the god have also been tentatively identified. SCP-217, SCP-271, and SCP-1139. They are extremely hostile to Foundation operatives, branding them heretics, and will attempt to kill operatives and break containment of SCP items. It is unknown how they are able to detect these items, but they have shown their ability to do so with frightening accuracy. In addition, they have shown a remarkable ability to resist the mental effects of SCP items, notably SCP-882 and its mental lure. The church is viewed as a threat to both the SCP Foundation and mankind. Members are to be detained by force or eliminated by whatever means deemed necessary by Foundation agents. Church of the Second Hytoth Overview The Church of the Second Hytoth is an occult organization of human and alien entities that adhere to the extraterrestrial Ordothon religion, aiming to aid a universal guardian deity, Rachmo Lusan, in combat against extra-universal threats, known as Vorutuet. The central beliefs of the religion are that the current universe, the Second Hytoth, was preceded by a different universe, which used to exist until it was consumed by an extra-universal entity. A group of survivors fled to the newly created Second Hytoth, our reality, with seven of them choosing to ascend to godhood to ensure the universe's safety. Six of these gods died over time, leaving Rachmo Lucen as the last survivor. Operations taken by the church are performed underneath the veil, likely to avoid heavy scrutiny from normalcy organizations. The main language of the group is the Ordothan Extraterrestrial Language, OEL, which has been anomalously kept unchanged despite the distances between Ordothan sects. Group members attribute this to acts of divine intervention. Human Ordothan belief systems are known to have existed by 11,000 BCE, corresponding to the foundation of the ancient Ordothan Kingdom civilization though modern branches have only been developed in the past century. Ordothan groups separate from the church exist, all being significantly smaller in comparison and tending to have differing moral beliefs. Beyond the church, the Ordothan religion has an interstellar and intergalactic presence, having initially emerged among extraterrestrial civilizations. Numerous such Ordothan civilizations are known to exist, with their full extent not yet ascertained. Among the largest of these is the Terzan II Ordothan Coalition, a coalition of Ordothan entities residing in globular cluster Terzan II at war with the hostile 12 star civilization. The only Ordothan civilization known to have entered the solar system is Species of Interest 002. It is presumed extinct. End of file. To learn more about the SCP Foundation, subscribe to SCP Orientation today and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our videos.